sports, the Duke of Entertainment. Sports fans, let's talk Cowboys. <sighs> Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. Man, that was one stinky loss, and that's much better. Now that we got the stink out of the room, let's just talk about the epic battle. And not the loss, the epic battle between the Texans and the Cowboys. What more could you ask for? It went in an overtime. It was incredible. Two teams tied up most of the game. It might have been field goal after field goal, like always. And Prescott looks like, you know, he looks like he doesn't know what the heck he's doing. Jason Garrett, some people think he, they don't know if we should keep him or just say, See you later, Jason Garrett. Thank you for being our coach for this many years, but we need a new... We need a new... Situation. Because this is not working. And I agree. I really do agree with people that we might need a culture, culture change. But you know how long it takes... To really establish yourself of a coach, a new coach? Or could it be that we need Jerry Jones to step down and fire himself, fire himself from being the general manager? Well, I'm really going to be surprised if Jason Garrett is gone. I'm going to be really surprised anything changes if we have a bad season. Like, well, I guess it is a bad season already, but what can you do? What can you do? You just keep on keeping on, baby. You dust yourself off and you keep on going. Let's get ready for the next game. This was a great battle of two teams. One, one thing. Chris Collinsworth, please, please, <laughs> he, is it me, or is he the worst color commentator in all of national broadcasting of football? Yeah, I, I said that. Chris Collinsworth is the, maybe the worst color commentator guy in all of national Broadcasting of football. Can we please have Tony Romo save the Cowboys? Maybe look what he's done for for broadcasting, <laughs> color commenting. He's been awesome, but no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Tony Romo is going to be a Hall of Famer. Tony Romo had the football life that I still need to watch. I think I need to watch that. But that's just some side notes on my... Some, maybe some rambling. Maybe this is some rambling. Because it seems really rainy and dark today. For the Cowboys. But there is a light to this tunnel. We will never reach the Super Bowl. Hmm. It's been told to us many times. What is the possibility that someday we might reach the Super Bowl. We might reach the playoffs. We might go back to the greatness that we are, that we were, that we had. And I, I know, going back to the 90s, going back to our glory days. Oh, there he goes, a cowboy fan. Glory day, cowboy people. Well, all I have to say to you guys for saying that to us, is <laughs> our mm, oh, mm. I know that's kind of immature, but what immature? But what about this one? Mm, 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 our, mm. Yeah, that's much better. So, Cowboy fans, don't lose hope. Never lose hope. Never, ever, ever lose hope 
and always hold that dream that someday we will find our way back and establish something that was so great that we can look back and talk about and say, man, those were some good days. So, anyways, let's just get ready for the Panthers, get ourselves to a point where we can win again and have a good Cowboys season. And we have to make changes. Hopefully, it's not firing a lot of people on the Cowboys. And it just seems like we're at a snag and we're just at a crossroads. And it happens to teams. We're going to find our ways. So don't give up hope, Cowboy fans. And as always, Cowboy fans, Cowboys, Cowboys, Cowboys. Alrighty then. Kick, punch, 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 kick, punch, punch, punch. Great job. Great kick. That like button, that subscribe button, if you had a good day, if you laughed, if you smiled, and as always, awesome.